Well, welcome back. As you can see, our uh, open box desktop is pretty plain. Uh, it does give us a, a basic menu, and you can go in and do a quick theme change if you like. Um, myself, I like this Onyx. But uh, yeah, you can go in and do some quick changes if you like. Um, other than that, we don't need that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Alt F2 and we're going to run Tint 2. And there we go. And we have our basic Tint 2 panel at the bottom. And we can always edit that later with um, Tint Wizard. So let's have a quick look at that. Here's Tint Wizard. Um, we can make all our changes in here, we can round the corners, the, the panel position, orientation, so we can go make go up the sides, the top, um, whatever, taskbar, um, we can go multiple desktops if they are available, um, system tray, clock, change how your clock looks and all that. Um, you can add extra actions. Uh, to mouse clicks over the uh, over the panel for doing other things. So you apply your config when you're done, and away you go. Uh, normally, when I'm using Tint Wizard, um, I will open, and I will actually go to uh, a Tint RC file that I already have, and open that, and then I can save back into that. Um, you could always save your original and start a new one in case you are just playing around. But anyways, uh, that's it. If you do apply config, it makes any changes immediately. So, just to let you know for that. So, just so we can get uh, Tint 2 to uh, fire up every time, we're going to open up our auto start file that we made earlier that we uh, run over. As you can see it's just blank so we don't need to put any um, other commands in here for anything to recognize like a, when you're running a script you put uh, bin sh and so all we need to do is write in tint2 and put an add sign after it and that add sign makes open box read the next line and continues the, the script. Um, if you want a network manager running in in your panel, uh, depends which one you have started. Um, if you're using the Wicked, uh, WICD, uh, there's a command for that, or if you're using the network manager um, which is normal in GNOME and such. Uh, just put in nm slash, uh, not slash, um, whatever the hell that is, applet. Um, for setting backgrounds, we could run nitrogen, which is in the repositories, and that will control our backgrounds. And this here just tells it to restore from its last settings. Um, nitrogen, you can fire up just by typing in nitrogen into a terminal and choosing your wallpaper um, which we shall do in a minute volume icon is to control your volume for your sound and from there you can access your mixer also or you can just go into a terminal and do um, also mixer sorry about that so I'm just going to copy all these into there. So get rid of that. Conky, yeah. So I run the static network anyway, so I don't need those lines. Um, volume icon I haven't installed, so maybe I'll do that real quick.
Okay, so I had it involved, and like I said, nitrogen comes from Pac-Man. F2 and just type in nitrogen. There's nitrogen. Um, if we go into preferences, we can add our folders where we normally have all our pictures. And there we go. Don't mind my pictures. <laughs> Hit apply and we have our background. And if we do volume icon, it should show up in our panel, which it did. Um, my panel isn't very big. Um, I can expand it, and we'll uh, we'll have a look at that. Tint wizard. So we're going to go panel, panel size, height, there we go, load up nicely so we can see everything, and there's my uh, volume icon, you can see uh, it works quite well. And from there you can open your mixer and it actually opens terminal with also mixer into it and from here we can change all our settings so that's it for this this episode um, just to give us a quick basic start give us our desktop and something we can log into um, and have a running session have a bar at the bottom that we can access things um, and next time we'll work on our menu and we'll get a dynamic menu installed and um, start customizing that to make our life easier. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.